So today we are going to create a gun system so we can actually kill uh, our enemy that we created. So it's going to be really, really simple. So first things first, we have this AI right that we created. If we go into it, in the event graph, we created this death event. Uh, we can actually comment it out. Death event. Not like we have to. Don't know like people like that I comment out stuff I think hopefully. Uh, begin play delete this dead because we don't want that here. We're gonna uh, basically make it when we kill it. So we are going to have right below death event any damage. What it means basically when we deal damage by using this note, this specific note, it's gonna com communicate through this. So if we damage this actor, basically self we are gonna print here out so we are gonna create health i'm gonna create it everything in the enemy main player because i think it's uh, easier so i don't have to create like a full-on stat system for this one kind of uh, useless so we're just gonna have health and max health so we're basically gonna set this health right here we just subtract it from health basic stuff right here so we subtract some sort of amount from the health uh don't forget to add the health to be full or whatever you want it just does it like this before we actually subtract it we want to check if the health is less than or equal to zero so basically it means have you died or not so what we're gonna do if it's true we just do dead if it's false we continue and take away so that's one check we're gonna do another check just in case right here uh another check because uh, i don't know why it works like that so when you take once right you don't really need this check but this is kind of like insurance uh, that it actually works and stuff i just do it you don't have to but i just do it and then i add another one here so it just double checks it uh, to make sure on the false for now we're just gonna print it out print string add that to this term so we can just see the uh, damage uh, we are taking away so that's basically it so now just uh, basically add health so instance editable expose and spawn so as the max health as well and i'm gonna have it in a category of uh info uh, both of them so info worth will be info as well okay dokey so we can have this as damage system really really simple uh, we're gonna expand it later but uh, this is basically how it's going to work so if you play right now the character should stand still just like this you cannot pick it up cannot do shit about it we are going to actually add an inventory system but that's gonna be later uh, because it's really complicated and i don't like it so in the interaction system now we want to create the gun so uh we're gonna create a folder called static static mesh and yeah okay we have materials we already have meshes so we'll delete that folder <laughs> i guess and in the discord you can actually get this gun asset for free uh, I made the animation for it as well, so you can just uh, get it, don't want it, and just drag it in. And when you drag it in, uh, in the general, just name the asset, uh, for example, uh, gun, import, that's it. It should import the skeleton mesh, animation, physics, and the skeleton. Uh, all the material just go into the material section, meshes, that's gonna go into the meshes, I don't really care. Uh, double click the skeleton and there should be make a static mesh. Just make it, uh, have it in core, interaction, meshes, this will be gun. Uh, okay, it all exists, uh, gun, mesh for example. We're gonna have one gun in the game. I don't want to make multiple ones. If you want to, you can. Uh, I just don't... I think one gun would be kind of realistic, you know? Kind of like gives the story vibe to it. Uh, yeah, so we have this uh, skeleton mesh. You can see it's a bit big. You can go to, for example, like modeling. Make it smaller if you want to, but I will not really get into it. So I'm gonna get into our main player, find our main player, and we're just gonna add a skeleton mesh into the spring arm and call this gun, or you can call this rifle, and just have this gun. It's a bit big, so make it 0.3 by 0.3. I found it the best, and just make it like this, so it's like next to the camera hit play make this a little bit bigger okay so it should be a little bit below i think that's gonna be just fine yeah so this is basically how it's going to look 
So we have a gun. Pew pew. Uh, now let's just make the firing system. Uh, what is really simple as well. Uh, as you can see, we already have the left mouse button as interaction. We're gonna create a variable called uh, equipped. So get that. Have a branch. Yeah, just true. And this should be uh, not boolean. It should be false by default. So basically, when we have the gun equipped, we cannot interact with anything. It just makes sense, I think. So we're gonna below it have a custom event called fire uh, fire gun. And we're gonna check if we actually have equipped it. So if it's true, we're gonna do once because we want to fire it. Well, we, we want to fire it multiple times, but we want to damage it once. Then just play sound effect 2D or you can do 3D, whatever. Uh, get player controller. This will be for the camera shake. So camera shake, start client camera shake, then apply damage no sorry uh play animation that's gonna be this rifle and just add uh there should be gun animation you can op oh. la, la, la. you can open it up it's a basic animation <laughs> i will show you how it looks later and then I, right here we're gonna have a sequence first one it's gonna have this line trace uh if you can get it and this will be like i would say 2000 you can you can uh, and then apply damage. Apply damage. Damage. Uh, to promote into variable. Call it a rifle damage. And it's a detectable exposed at spawn. I will set it to 25. Causer will be the hit actor. Damage type. Damage type. And then from the other sequence, we're just gonna have re uh, delay. So like here. Uh, basically, why we're doing it? If we don't hit the actor, then we just basically. Uh, it's gonna go into the delay and you know start over so right here a reset we're gonna reset the do once so basically how it works when we fire the gun we're gonna check if the gun is equipped we're gonna do it once we're gonna play the sound effect camera shake animation have two sequences first it's gonna go into the line trace and it's gonna go into the delay it's gonna check if we actually hit something if we did okay do the damage then go to delay uh but it's still going to go to the delay and do once so uh yeah of course you can do into the line trace you can check if we hit something or not but i think this is just fine and the duration is one sec our damage actor should be uh the damage causes should not be the hit actor the hit actor should be the damage actor so that was my mistake. Just to replace it so damage actor is the hit actor. So that's basically it right here. You can name it a uh, fire rifle. Basically what it does. And right here on the false fire fire gun. Bam. Uh, we can try it out. Does not work because we haven't equipped it. If we have it. So I'm just going to set it to true for now. We can see it's basically going to. Uh, do this so it has the animation every one second it's gonna fire and you can see the line trace is fairly big you can make it bigger it's got up to and right here uh camera shake I i'm gonna add the spring camera shake i think now let's make a custom one i guess so in the effects head bobbing basically duplicate this sprinting one and call it bp fire gun open it up and if you duplicate it everything should be fine go to root Oscillation, pitch, join, and roll. And basically, we're just gonna double everything. We're gonna set this to eight. Uh, that's gonna be yeah, eighteen. This to eight. This to like eight. And let's test it out now. If we equip it right here, there should be the gun. By gun. If we fire now, you can see it has a bigger impact. I think. Yeah, I think that's gonna be just fine. So that's how you fire it. Now we're gonna equip it. Uh, so as we do not have the inventory system kind of set up, so we cannot really do anything, right? But we can actually damage this, I think, right? Yeah. So you, you can see we actually damage the enemy, and bam, it just falls down. We cannot drag it because we have this equipped. So we're gonna do a temporary um, fix. We're gonna do one key it's gonna be a debug so when we add the inventory system we're gonna have something else 
And I hear when you press it once, so we're gonna have a flip flop. I'm gonna equip it. When you press it again, it's gonna equip it. And we're gonna get the rifle. This is how we're gonna do it later. Set visibility to true. And right here, set the visibility to false. Select the rifle. Go to visibility. Set it to false. Go to collisions. Yeah, the, uh, and check if it has or doesn't have collisions. It should not have collisions. And now if you press 1, uh, you can see I have the gun. Press again. I don't have the gun. Uh, so we can kill it. Bam. Press 1. Oh. You can take him. And you can boom. Fuel the generator. So for now, it's going to look like this. So we basically have a basic debug for now. We can name this debug until inventory system is set up. So next up we're gonna make the inventory system, but today I just wanted to make this gun. 